Hello guys, uh, this is Dr. Saki Bulsaba. Uh, so today in this lecture, we will learn uh, some uh, simple HBase commands. Okay, so uh, at currently I am in HBase shell. Okay, so let's check the version. If we need, uh, have to check the version. So this is a simple command. Uh, I have typed okay version. So uh, my current version is 1.4.9. Now, if I have to check the status, okay, yeah, status of my the HBase cluster. So I have to write status, a uh, simple command. So it will give us uh, the status of the HBase cluster. Okay. Now, if we have to check uh, the current HBase user, so how to check? Uh, we just need to write who am I? Okay. So HP Windows 10. Okay. So this is the uh, currently the uh, uh, this displays the current HBase user okay now uh, let's check the list if we have to check the list of tables okay so uh, here is simple command list okay so there uh, there is no uh, table is created uh, okay now let's create one table okay uh, now how to create a table okay so it's very simple it's very simple so uh, we know that in hbase uh, hbase is no sql uh, database where uh, we store data in the form of in columnar fashion that means okay so uh, let's create one simple table uh, we will create my, uh, some one table with my name and then we will add one column family okay so in uh, hbase so uh, we usually create tables and we give some name to tables and then we add a uh, number of uh, these uh, uh, what we call them column families okay so we can have one column family we can have two column family we can have three we can have n number of column families okay so let's create one table uh, so uh, very simple command create -E create uh, create a uh, next is uh, in single quotes we have to give the table name for example i am creating one uh, uh, table name for example sakib table sakib table okay simple name sakib table okay next is so i have create i am creating one table with the name sakib table and next is uh, i have to give the column family okay so uh, we will add one column family okay c O L F A M one. Okay, so we will add one column family and enter. Okay, so this will create a one. Okay, uh, so uh, we have uh, there is no error and one tim, uh, uh, one table that is our table that is created. Okay, uh, next is uh, okay. Now how to check uh, whether the table is created or not? Okay, let's check it using list command okay, list command okay so here you can see uh, socket table is created okay. next is uh, there is this command describe okay so d e s c r i b e now i if i want to describe uh, socket table okay uh, okay we can use this command okay so here you can see table socket table is enabled and okay then uh, it gives us the uh, column family description so here we had only one column family so that's why there's only one column and if we have added more column family then uh, we will get the information uh, uh, related to other column families also okay. next is okay if we want to uh, delete this table so there is a simple command drop table but uh, uh, here you can see table socket table is enabled that means okay let's try it let's try to delete let's try to delete socket table okay let's check whether we'll be able to delete or not it or not okay so check here we are we, are, we got this error table socket table is enabled delete it first uh, disable sorry disable it first so in hbase if we have to uh, if we have to delete any table so we need to disable that first okay so, so I, I am disabling this d i s a b l e disable uh, okay s a q i b t a b l e and okay yes so we need to disable it okay then okay now we can drop it draw s a q i b t a b l e okay now i can drop it 
okay yes now let's check uh, whether uh, the uh, table is deleted or not so there is this command list okay yeah we can see there is uh, sakib uh, table is deleted okay so there is this uh, in HBase, uh, if we need to delete any table, we if we have to drop any table, so uh, we should disable that first. Okay. After disabling, then we can delete the table. Okay. So very simple. Now uh, let's create another table. CRE delete. Uh, for example, I am creating Sakib. Okay. Comma. I am adding one call fam. Call column fam one. Okay column family one okay i am creating one table socket and with one column family okay okay so uh, we getting error create okay. Mm, okay let's create socket one okay so socket one is created uh okay Next is uh, uh, we need to check uh, whether uh, my table is enabled or not. So there is this command is underscore enable is enabled and then saqib one saki one okay is enabled saki one and I uh, I got here true that means yes this is enabled okay so uh, just like enable we can check if uh, is disabled okay is underscore d i s a b l d disabled then s a q i b one and okay false that means my uh, table is not disabled okay okay so yes okay now uh, there is uh, one command uh, that's alter command so alter command that's multifunctional command so we can use alter command to rename we can use alter col column uh, uh, to add new columns we can use alter col uh, alter uh, command to delete uh, uh, these columns okay now let's add uh, another column using alter command uh, to this uh, table sakib one so we have already seen the, uh, that i here you can see so I have created uh, this uh, table Saki one and I have added our only one column family. Next is let's use this alter uh, command and let's add one more uh, column family. Okay. So how to do that? Alter then uh, table name that is uh, okay. S A Q I B one alter Saki one comma okay then name okay so a name should, should be capital n a m e name equal to and equal to uh, okay so i am adding another uh, column family c o l f a m so i am adding another column family that is column family 2 okay so this is a simple command alter then table name then comma name equal to uh, column family 2 okay so enter enter okay updating our regions okay done okay now let's check uh, whether this is so we again describe describe uh, our table that is sakib one okay so here check so uh, table saki one is enabled okay we know that then uh, there is this uh, column family description so here you can see name column fam one name column family two okay so uh, previously uh, there was only one column family okay now you can see we have altered this table and we have added one more column family okay uh, next is uh, we can use this alter command to delete any column family okay how to do that okay so let's alter uh, then table name so my table name is saki one comma and name n a m e name equal to okay sorry uh, yeah name equal to so i am deleting uh, this one call fam one call fam one okay so I am deleting 
column family one okay i will be deleting column family one okay comma so here we have to use method 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 equal to delete method equal to delete okay d e l e t e so this will delete <coughs> this will delete the uh, column family one okay so what is the command uh, so i am using this alter command alter then table name and then name equal to column family one so i want to delete this column family one and then what's method method is delete so this will delete the column family one okay and next is let's enter okay updating origins okay and done okay now let's again uh, let's check if it's deleted, uh, deleted or not let's again describe uh sakib one okay let's describe sakib one okay so table is in uh, this let's check see here column family description name equal to column fam2 so column uh, previously uh, here you can see when i was describing this table so we had this column family one and column family two okay now i have deleted this column family one uh, and now here you can see uh, while describing it shows only column family two okay okay so okay so these were some uh, basic uh, these commands okay so see you in the uh, next lecture uh, next video oh, and one more thing so if you are new to this channel please do subscribe